What's going on everyone? It's Jimbo with the Auto Detailing Podcast here for another daily detail tip. Today's detail tip may go over a little minute and is brought to you by JimboDaily.com. Today, as this episode goes live, I'm doing a photo shoot in a studio, uh, getting ready to launch about 17 more products um, that should be up on the site, hopefully by the following week. So if you're listening to this after the time it comes out, check out JimboDaily.com all detailing accessories that's all it's going to be detailing accessories everything from wheels to interior brushes uh, wash mitts microfiber towels everything jimbodaily.com anyway the point of this daily detail tip is that coatings are starting to go mainstream how do i know this or why do i think this it's that more and more people more and more layman people i guess or people that aren't too in tune with detailing in general are starting to ask about these ceramic coatings. Um, and I know this just from talking to customers because I actually have a detailing business and then, uh, walking around the shows and, and car shows and stuff like that. It's becoming, it's becoming the new clay bar, right? Everyone knows most people know, not everyone. I hate kind of talking in those terms, but most people are familiar with the term clay bar, even though even now, most people don't know what a clay bar actually does. Detailers, of course, know what it does, but I'm speaking about you know people who are probably your customer, general general people, right? That don't follow the detailing industry. And so, I'm what I'm noticing is ceramic coatings are following that tail. People are learning the term ceramic coating, but don't know why or what it does or exactly what it is. They just know that it's it's good, right? Which is awesome for us as detailers that it's becoming a good thing. Um, and so what I'm even getting family members that are getting new cars um, asking about it because they're talking about it at the dealership and the, in the finance office. They're seeing it sometimes at car washes. Yes, I tell my family to go to car washes um, and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what? Coatings are really starting to go mainstream. How can you tap into that market if you still haven't tapped into it yet? And I thought, man, since family members are um, kind of getting hip to it or, or getting wind of it and starting to ask about it, that would be a perfect demo. And I think I've actually landed more family members' uh, cars to coat because I've coated other family members and they've gotten experience to, to the benefits of it. And the same laws apply that or same rules apply that you don't oversell the coating. I've talked about that for a long time. Don't oversell the coating. One staunch thing that I sell on is easy cleaning. And that's what my family members are currently liking. So I thought, you know, this could be a really good way to let um, your family members test out what a coding can really do and the benefits of it. So I thought, you know, even if you had to do it for free, you could pick up a consumer grade coding for under a hundred dollars and apply it to your family member's car, whether you do the full paint correction or not. Ideally, the car's relatively new, so either way, there wouldn't be much paint correction. Maybe you charge them 200 bucks or 100 bucks, or you do it for free or say, hey, cover the cost. Again, this is for people that are trying to tap into that coding market. Um, and I just thought that would be a really good idea because the idea is that you're getting people to be a, to, to test, uh, to taste, not test, to, well, both maybe, but taste what the benefits of, of a ceramic coating are without this huge like $1,500, $2,000 investment. So as you kind of let them taste, um, they start talking about it. Maybe they're talking to their friends or other family members or whatever. And then you could step up the ladder of price point. So once you get outside of your family members, you know, maybe your first coding job, again, maybe start with the consumer grade coding is $500. Um, and really in that five to $800 is where I think all codings are going to start to to level out, um, starting to even see the beginnings of a sag in the market for how much people can charge because the competition is getting stiffer and, and more, right? Supply and demand is, is starting to take hold. But I thought if you're still trying to get into that ceramic coating market, start with your friends and family. Offer to coat their car. Again, maybe you don't do a full paint correction because that's not, you know, it that would take way too much time. So find the person with the newest car maybe do a light one step over it and then apply a consumer grade coating. And this is going to serve two purposes, really. Obviously, the purpose that I'm talking about is to let them taste the benefits of ceramic coating and get them talking about it. 
but also two, maybe you're a rookie at applying ceramic coatings and instead of paying someone to um, go learn how to apply their coating, you're going to start with a consumer grade coating on a family car and really get your bearings together about how to apply a coating on a car. It, it's, you know, consumer grade coatings are pretty dummy proof. They're not much harder than applying a paste wax. Um, very, very similar in that nature. Um, and just learn how to do it. But that is today's daily detail tip on how you can tap into that ceramic coating market and potentially get more ceramic coating jobs. Hope that helps. See ya.